Hey guys, welcome back to Mind State, where we help you reach your full potential. In today's video, we will be discussing 8 ways to recession proof your life and your bank account. The COVID 19 pandemic has brought about a level of economic uncertainty that many people have never experienced before. The lockdowns, job losses, and business closures have had a profound impact on the global economy and it's clear that the effects will continue to be felt for some time to come. In times like these, it's more important than ever to take control of your finances and build resilience. By recession-proofing your life and your bank account, you can be better prepared to weather any financial storm that may come your way. No matter what your current financial situation may be, there are practical steps that you can take to protect your financial well-being. Whether you're a student trying to make ends meet, a young professional just starting out, a small business owner struggling to keep your business afloat, or anyone looking to secure your financial future, these 8 tips can help you prepare for uncertain times. From creating an emergency fund to reducing your debt, diversifying your income sources, and being mindful of your spending, these strategies can help you build a solid foundation for financial stability. So. If you're ready to take control of your finances and protect your financial well-being, grab a pen and paper and get ready to take notes. These tips are designed to be practical and actionable, so you can start implementing them right away. By following these tips, you can recession-proof your life and your bank account and be better prepared for whatever the future may hold. Number 1. Build an Emergency Fund When the economy is booming, it's easy to feel like you're on top of the world. You can buy whatever you want, whenever you want it. But when the economy tanks and you lose your job or have to pay for emergency expenses, money suddenly becomes inaccessible, and that's when having an emergency fund comes in handy. An emergency fund is a crucial component of financial stability and helps you weather unexpected events such as job loss, medical bills, or unexpected expenses. Aim to save at least 3-6 to six months worth of living expenses in a high-yield savings account or short-term savings account that is easily accessible. This cushion of cash can provide peace of mind and help you avoid getting into debt during a recession. Number 2. Pay off debt Debt can be a major burden, but it doesn't have to be. By paying off high-interest debt, such as credit card debt or personal loans, you can reduce your monthly expenses and increase your financial flexibility. This can be accomplished through a combination of budgeting, paying more than the minimum payments, and potentially consolidating debt with a low-interest loan. Number 3. Invest in your career Hard times call for hard hats. But what if we told you that investing in your career through education, training, and professional development could help you stay competitive and increase your earning potential during a recession? By continuously improving your skills and knowledge, you can become more valuable to your employer and more likely to retain your job or seek new opportunities in a changing job market. Number 4. Diversify your income streams We know how it feels to be struggling to get by. We are here to tell you that the best way to get ahead is not by taking out a loan or stealing. It's through diversification. Diversifying your income streams is one of the most important things you can do for yourself, especially during a recession. You never know when someone will come up with a new technology that disrupts the market, or when someone will decide they don't need your service anymore. That's why we suggest starting a side hustle or investing in rental property, or both. Starting a side hustle can help you build up some extra cash for the months when your primary income isn't rolling in like it usually does. And if you decide to invest in rental property, that could give you another source of income from which you can draw when times are tight. Are you liking the video so far? Before we get back, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to our channel and click on the notification bell to get notified of our new uploads. Now let's get right back to it. Number 5. Minimize your monthly expenses While it's important to be able to go out and have fun, 
you don't need to spend a lot of money doing so. By finding ways to reduce your monthly expenses, you can free up more money for other things, like saving for retirement or paying down debt. Cutting back on unnecessary expenses is one of the best ways to save money and improve your financial stability during a recession. For example, if you love going out for dinner with friends, consider inviting them over instead of going out. Or if you love watching movies at home on Netflix, try renting them from a red box instead of buying them from an online store like Amazon Prime Video or iTunes. If you think about all the extra money you'll save by cutting back on these small expenses each month, you'll be amazed by how much better off financially you'll be in just one year. Number 6. Plan for the long term. If you've ever heard the phrase, a penny saved is a penny earned, then you know that it's true. Investing in yourself and your future is one way to ensure that you'll have enough money when you need it most. Whether that's a rainy day or the birth of a new family member, having the financial stability to support your needs is important for staying out of debt and building wealth. But how do you go about preparing for those things? You can start by setting up a long-term financial plan that includes setting financial goals and investing in a diversified portfolio, and then working towards them over time. This may involve setting up a retirement account, investing in stocks and bonds, and saving for major expenses such as a home purchase or children's education. By planning for the long term, you can build a solid financial foundation and increase your financial stability. Number 7. Stay informed. If you want to survive the recession, the first thing you need to do is know what's going on. That means staying informed about the economy, changes in the job market, and potential impacts on your finances. You can do this by regularly reading financial news, consulting with a financial advisor, and monitoring your own financial situation. By staying informed and proactive, you can better protect your financial stability during a recession. By keeping up with current events, you'll be able to make better decisions about how to handle your money. This will help ensure that you're not putting yourself in a vulnerable position by taking out too much credit or buying things on credit that aren't necessary for survival. Even if you don't have a lot of cash lying around or any at all, it's important that you keep an eye on what's going on in the economy so that you can take small steps towards improving your situation when possible instead of falling into debt traps or making bad decisions based on panic, which can lead to even more financial problems down the line. Number 8. Avoid impulsive purchases. You know what they say, don't spend money you don't have. But in the face of an economic recession, it can be hard to avoid spending on impulse. The urge to buy luxury items and take on big expenses can cause you to overspend and stress out about your finances. If you find yourself buying things you don't need, consider practicing mindful spending instead. Mindful spending means being aware of your financial situation and making decisions accordingly. If a purchase is something that will improve your life or help you reach your long-term goals, then by all means, go for it. But if the purchase is just for fun or it doesn't fit into your budget, then put it back on the shelf for now. Remember. There are plenty of ways to enjoy yourself without spending money. In conclusion, recession-proofing your life involves a combination of smart financial planning and proactive measures. Building an emergency fund, paying off debt, investing in your career, diversifying your income streams, minimizing your monthly expenses, planning for the long term, and staying informed can help you weather an economic downturn and protect your financial stability. Hi everyone, thanks so much for watching Mind State. If you found these helpful and enjoyed watching our content, please click like and subscribe. We'll always provide excellent takes on anything and everything. And also, we'd love to know about your thoughts, so leave a comment below. See you next time!